hello everyone welcome back so in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure AD connect for office 365 and it's going to be on my brand new server exchange um, I'm sorry Windows Server 2016 and I don't have any um, previous version of AD connect installed on this machine so I'm going to download the AD Connect. Let's go to let's go to Google and um, download the bit files. Let's open this one up. Just gonna type in AD Connect download. Click on this one. Click on download. It is downloading the MSI. Gonna double click on that or click on install. Right click and then install. I want to make sure I added the domain suffix to my on prems Active Directory. So I need to go into Oops, let's see. Administrative tools. I want to go to domain and trust. Go to properties. Oops, it's the top one. Go to properties. I'm going to add my domain. Click OK. And I want to make sure all my user has the UPN. Um, with the new domain as you can see I, it was office 365 tech local tech guy local and I'm going to change it to the sandman.com click on apply this is the only user I have right now so let's close that out and continue with the AD connect install continue I'm going to choose customize I'm not going to make any changes um, this configuration I'm going to choose the standard locations and it's going to using the SQL Express so I'm going to click next or install as you can see, it's installing SQL Server Express.
Right, it's going to take uh, a few minutes here. I'm going, to report, I'm going to pause the recording, um, just come back when it's uh, ready to, for me to click continue. <laughs> All right. So it is options for password hash sync, um, password authentication, federations, federation with ping federated. This is a new options. Uh, this is a new uh, feature that just added recently. Let me see what this is. Yep. So it's supporting ping federation. For right now, I'm just going to choose the path through authentication. I'm going to click next. I'm going to enter my global admin account. Active Directory, Forest, it's the only 84s I have. Click on Add. I'm going to enter my domain credential. Oops. Oh, 365 Tech Guy. Okay, it's added. Now I'm going to click next. This one is verified, use the principal name. That's what I'm gonna use for my users to log into Office 365. Check this box, continue without matching all UPN suffix to verify domain. That's fine, I only have one test user. You wanna make sure you verify all your users has the um, um, primary as MTP and UPNs are match. Click next. I'm going to sing everything from my Active Directory, or you, I can choose select domain and OU. So I can select any OU I want to sync. Um, for example, user, if you want to sync just old users only, just click on users. In this case, I'm going to select everything, I'm going to sync everything. And I click next. User and represented only once across the directory, that's fine. Select how users should be identified with Azure AD. Let it, you want to let Azure manage the source anchor. Click next. 
synchronize by all user and devices. That's fine. Click next. If you have Exchange on-prem and you plan to um, install the Exchange Hybrid, you want to make sure you connect on Exchange Hybrid here. So in my environment, I don't have Exchange Hybrid, so I'm not going to select anything. I mean, it's grayed out. Password hash. I don't have to do that because um, I'm not doing password hash. Password right back. I probably enable this later when I um, enable password right back in Azure. Group right back. I don't have this feature. Divide right back. It's not enabled. Directory extension attribute sync. What? It, let's see. Would user enable this option? Customer directory attribute specify will synchronize to Azure. So I'm not going to check this one for now. I'm going to click next. Oops. Let's see what this is. By enable Azure AD app contribute filtering the services attribute. Term. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to check that box. Click next. Start synchronization. So the installation, the configuration will take a while. I'm just going to pause the recording and we'll come back. All right, look like the configuration is completed. Just going to exit. Let's go check the Azure. Let me log in here. This is the old um, user account that I had before, so I'm just going to ignore this for now. Let's go into Azure. Let's look for the AD Connect Sync. This should be somewhere here. Um, All right, here goes Azure. No, no, Azure AD Connect Health. This is the old errors that I had um, before, so let's just ignore that. Directory sync. So I have one healthy, um, this is, like I said, this is the old um, errors that I had before, so I can just ignore that one. All right, let's look in the 
that's the um, Azure Directory Sync's health. Let's look for my users. So I didn't mean to go there. Let's go users. Let's see if that user is sync. The only user I have is, as you can see, it's sync this morning. See anything else I want to check? Um, so, when I configured the AD connection, I chose um, path through authentications. So, there should be an agent, there should be a service that, that is running for that path through authentication. Let's look at the active um, the services. I have a slow server. It's just gonna take quite a bit sometime. All right, let's go to services. Oh, come on. So there should be a client that is running as a service with path through authentication. You can install <coughs> the agent on multiple servers. Let me uh, search for it. Um, this Let's go back to um, Azure. Going back to the root here. All right, um, that's it. That's how you install AD Connect on Exchange. I mean, on the uh, Service 2016. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.